Alright everybody, here we go. Today's the day. I'm really excited to make this video. It's probably going to be a little bit longer than normal. Uh, we're going to cut a hole in the wall and we're going to build another door. So if that sounds interesting, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is Crypto Insight Mining. I do my best to post a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Sometimes we're in the farm. Sometimes I'm just sitting in front of the desktop giving my opinion. But today's video is going to be one that I'm, like I said, I'm real excited about. We're going to, let me actually walk right over here and just show you. So. This is for the new people to the channel. If, if you're a veteran to the channel, let's call you, then you already know what the game plan is. But just in case you're new, you turn the camera around here. So this is the other side of my shed. If you didn't see the video that I posted, I believe it was four or five days ago at this point, uh, we actually just cut this doorway out and built this door and I just got it all installed. So go back and watch that video. It was super interesting. I didn't do a really good job of documenting the whole process. So that's what this video is gonna be. Um, the basic idea is going to be that we have this door right here and we have another door as you can see right on the other side that all this wind goes right through here and blows all the hot air through the rigs out the other door and the same mindset is right here we're going to have a fan right here blowing this way and we're going to cut a hole in the wall right there so this way the wind can go right through because my partner probably here in the next week is uh, going to be bringing over some equipment to get all this going so I'm real real excited about that Let's see, this right here about where this vent is gonna be is gonna be about where I put the door. Um, I haven't really decided on how big the door is gonna be because I don't have to settle with a standard door size. I can build it whatever size I want. If memory serves me correctly, the door that I put on the other side is about six feet by three feet. So I think I'm gonna remeasure that and I'm just gonna go with that. So uh, I think I'm gonna pause this video. I think that's about it for right now. I'm gonna get all that wood pulled up the hill to my picnic table. Well, I guess you call it my workstation. I'll get all my tools outside and then I will check in with y'all and explain what I've gotten done uh, and then hopefully we can get the door put together and I'll show you all how that's done so just give me one minute I'll get all that stuff set up and then I will see you all in one second all right everybody so I got all the pieces cut I ended up going with six foot uh, long ways by 29 inches this way and I just matched the other door there was no real reason why I landed on 29 inches that's just seemed like a really nice small size. So I got the one panel here, I got the other panel here, and then I have all the middles and uh, the stuff that's gonna go around the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this camera set up on a tripod and then I'm actually gonna um, time lapse all this so we're not bored to death watching me put this door together. So just give me one minute and I will put this door together.
All right, everybody, so was working on the door late into the evening. Unfortunately, the recording of me actually cutting out the wall and doing all that didn't go as planned. Uh, the camera wasn't really working. I don't know if it was my batteries were dead or what, but it turned off and I didn't realize it until after I had already gotten the door basically done. So I just decided to say screw it and just show you the after product. So let me turn the camera around right here just so it's all easy for us to all see this. So as you can see, I got the door all in here. I actually pulled Hold the ducting down from this inline going there and then there was this inline going to right around here if you remember. Uh, I'm going to take down all these inline fans I put in the ceiling including this one over here uh, probably here in the next couple days so I'll be really happy to get all this stuff cleaned up. I'm also going to do some cable management, a little off note here. I got lots of cables running on the ground and I have all these ethernet cables over here. I would like to get them into the ceiling and have them drop straight down onto the racks. I think it would be a lot more organized. So back to the door. Now, before I forget, one main question that I do get, uh, because this isn't my first adding a door to the mining shed video, is what kind of mesh netting is this and what is it? Um, it's actually just a magnetic door that goes in your uh, doorway to go in and out. It's one of these magic mesh things. They're really, really nice. Now the magnets in the middle, they don't really work all that well. So like this door, for instance, that I just installed, I won't be using it. I just zip tied them together so it stays completely closed. It is completely dark. It is dark outside. It's about 10 o'clock at night now. I will show you the door outside just in case you're wondering. Let me see if I can get a better angle so you can see both of them. So. As you can see, here's both doors, and if you look through, there's our other two doors. Now, if you've been following the channel, you know what the plan is. The plan is going to be to have this fan in front of this door blowing all the way through here. Um, my partner here in the next week or two, I know I've been saying this for a while now, is going to bring over probably five or six rigs. Uh, of 3090s that we're going to get hooked up. So these are his outlets, these three right here. So the idea is to have this fan right here blowing air this way through all these rigs and out that door right there. And then the idea is going to be the exact same over here. Have this fan in front of this door blowing air through all these rigs and out that door. Um, I know my last video I was talking about some box fans. Uh, the only other thing that I would like to add is... Um, I've found out that I, I do have to use the box fans. Uh, I thought that I was going to be able to turn them off completely, but it didn't really work out that way. I had a couple cards that were spiking up to about 102, 104 degrees VRAM. So what I decided to do is I do keep my box fans on about uh, speed one, and then I have the big fan right here uh, blasting through so it kind of knocks out any hot spots or any cards that are being a little uh, finicky. So... That works out really well. I'm super happy with how the door turned out. Um, I know the beginning of this video I showed you how I built the door. Uh, I'm really sorry once again that I couldn't uh, show exactly how to put the door in. It was just not working out. So I don't mean to keep looping around and keep uh, rambling on and on about the same stuff. So. I think that's going to be about the end of this video. Uh, I apologize again that I didn't get to make a video for Wednesday. Uh, if any of you saw my community post, there was an emergency at my business. I'm a partial owner of a restaurant, and uh, I'm not going to get into details of exactly what happened, but something pretty major happened, and I had to go to work for roughly 16 hours to try and take care of something that was going. Sorry if you can't really hear me that well. There's a helicopter or an airplane up above me. I live right by the airport, so there's... Sometimes I try to record videos in between and sometimes I don't get so lucky, so uh, it's one of those times. Uh, like I said in the last video, just responding to a question that I got, why is it so quiet in here? Um, I actually have all my rigs and everything turned off, so just like every other video, I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible because time is money. So, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please put them down below like usual and I will do my best to respond. Uh, let me see, is there anything else? Um... I don't really think there's too, too much else. Uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Uh, look for my video on Monday. I think we're just going to do some cleaning and some uh, cable management. I have been getting a lot of questions about how much do you earn in a month. I actually made a video about that, but I'm also getting some other questions is how much have you earned month over month and are your profits going down? I think in the next week or two, I'm going to try and put together a video showing how much month over month for the last year I've pulled out a nice hash and we're going to look at the profits and see how much month over over month percentage wise they've gone down uh, and see exactly like Satoshi wise with people clicking onto the network and the price going down exactly 
if my profits are staying roughly the same or if they're getting better because just because the price goes down and you're making less dollars in Bitcoin doesn't mean you're not making more Bitcoin. So uh, I will leave that for another video. Uh, we'll get into that. So do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you're still here all the way at the end of the video. I am rambling, so I will let this go now. I hope you all have a great weekend. Stay safe and I'll see you on Monday. Peace.